asked for. I like that it's more fitted and then flares in at the bottom. And I like that it's lace. I don't like the belt. Yeah. You're getting a lot of input. How do you feel? I love it. I think that it looks gorgeous on you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Number seven, no room for doubt. Angela has dressed hundreds of brides, but when it comes to her own bridal dress, she is running scared of her own shadow. Her size 40 dress has painted shadows on her dream wedding, and it's up to Joe and Elle to break her out of her self-imposed prison. Ground, uh, it, I'm very fussy and I'm very indecisive. I just need to know, is this mum and sister? Yeah, this is my mum and my daughter. Oh, your daughter? Oh. Elle is determined to wave her magic wand and bring Angela out of her comfort zone. A little bit of counseling goes a long way in making all of the difference. While Angela has been looking away from the mirror, Joe and Elle have her dressed up in a beautiful piece which does justice to her luscious curves. Angela has found her dream dress and she can go home a happy bride-to-be. She's kind of thinking she cannot pull that shape off. That is where I think the indecisive... Oh, I like it. Don't look like huge in it. Big, you look like a curvy woman. Yes, I like this. Her heart is with that. Ooh. Hold on a minute. I thought, you, I thought that you were really indecisive. Well, go on, say it again. <laughs> Will Joanne realize her dreams the way Angela did? Let's find out. It seems that Joanne and her image in the mirror do not seem to get along. It's time to break down this beautiful woman's barriers, and the best way to do that is to show the best version of her to herself. And they've done exactly that with the beautiful number they've brought her out wearing. It's proved one thing beyond the shadow of a doubt that Joanne has a lot more to offer the world than what she's been showing, and it's exactly the confidence booster this bride needs. With a spring in her step and high hopes for the day, she has found the dress she can call her own. Number 6. Sell Your Soul Sale at Kleinfeld means the entire marriageable population of the United States is going to descend on it and that's exactly what's happening today. It's a bargain hunter's paradise, there has to be order to this chaos and each hopeful contestant is given a number. It's every bride for herself today and there are bound to be some hysterics. Rhiannon Shaikin is pressed for time with her wedding just two months away. She has made friends with Nathalia Duran, who is a smart little cookie. You see, she had enough sense to visit Kleinfeld a couple of days before the sale started and she knows exactly what she is looking for. It's a mind-blowing romantic number by Tara Keeley and it has Nathalia's name on it if someone else hasn't gotten to it first. Meanwhile, Rihanna is not having a good time. Dress after dress is disappointing her not because of the way it looks on her, but by simply refusing to fit. The panic is fast setting in and it seems that both she and Nathalia are partners in it. It's just elegant. I love it. It's comfortable, but it's beautiful. It has everything I want. What are your thoughts? We love it. This one makes more of a statement. And, uh, on Saturday was one of the only ones that made me feel like I was a prince. Yes to the dress. I'm going to say yes to the dress. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, Francesca Borgognon is having a leisurely stroll through the rocks since her wedding is very far off. She's in the mood to have fun and what's a few moments spent on trying on the dog of the day dress. Finally, this roller coaster ride has come to an end with only Rhiannon finding happiness while Nathalia and Francesca have been met with disappointment. Rhiannon is going home with the dress of her choice and the day is not a complete waste. Number 5. Hannah Buckner wants to pay homage to her ideal Jackie O through her wedding dress. Flo has her kitted out in a classic 50s glam piece which has said the entire entourage raving about it except for older sister Bonnie. New elegance. I'm hoping I, I can make it a little more modern. Whatever. Uh, wow factor, of course, as the older sister, I feel like I know a lot more than her. I can rein in your Jackie O. A ball gown like this with a strap. A little plain. I have a lot of don'ts on my lips. All she can do is diss the dress and get the bride glammed out in a mermaid cut. Lacy little number, which is a far cry from the understated glam Hannah is searching for. This time, Monty has her dressed up in a classic Jackie Onassis style, which has made the bride realize the error of her ways. She is willing to part with her Jackie dreams, but wait, she has found the perfect Grace Kelly look, which is the icing on her cake. It is the perfect marriage between the Jackie O and Kelly style, and Hannah is most definitely over the moon with her find. 
I love it. Your demeanor is like completely changed in yeah. this dress. Hasn't it? Yeah. And the other ones I didn't feel as comfortable. And for me to jack you up? Yes. Jack me up. To tie in her love of Jackie. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! I can't believe I've. I really love it. I do. Are you saying yes to this dress? Number four, head to head. Stephanie Milowski has made the colossal mistake of bringing her fiance Catfish along for dress hunting, and she is about to pay for her choices dearly. Yes. Hi, I'm Debbie. Congratulations. My name is Stephanie Milowski. I brought my fiance Catfish. Woman that I want to spend the rest of my life with. I want to know what she's wearing to make the wedding perfect. Tell me what you're looking for. Okay. Beautiful, Do you think you want a really like a sexier shape? I don't object to that. <laughs> <laughs> The first dress has turned to dust by Catfish, comparing its skirt to bubble wrap. Dress number two has failed to win this bride's heart, with number three finding the same fate. The groom is completely sold on the next dress, but its skirt is a bit too flat for the bride's tastes. It's time for her to try out one dress which has caught her eye. Behold, she has found her winner and it's a happy tears all around. Perfect. It's form-fitting. It makes me feel sexy. It's beautiful. I like it. Are, Are you, you saying, saying yes, yes to the dress? Yes. Yes! Just looking at the glow in her eyes, I know Stephanie is extremely happy with the dress. She's found what she's... Number three, Emily Evans is renewing her vows in two days, and it's a mad dash to Kleinfeld for finding the one dress in a million. Will Kleinfeld rise up to the occasion, or is it a hopeless endeavor? Let's see. Things might be a mess right now, but Emily's fortune is definitely changing. Instead of being turned away at Kleinfeld for not having an appointment, she is getting honored by the co-owner Ronnie coming to her rescue himself. So, we Emily. heard a rumor yeah. that you're getting married in two days? I am. Well, I'm renewing my vow. dress. I'm ready. Let's you go. Know, <laughs> looking back on that day, I'm thinking, who shows up without an appointment and expects to have all been there? You buy a dress, you put it on, you hate it, and then you rush to go find another one. It's a rare couple who gets married at the Empire State Building and then renew their vows over there. Such an occasion demands a special dress, which can only be found at Kleinfeld. Lisa is about to help Emily find her needle in a haystack, and in no time, she has dressed up in the first choice. Any dress this bride chooses has to be approved by her two daughters, and unexpectedly, dress number one has found fans. With just a little bit of tweaking of the cleavage to make it more PG-13, this bride is ready to go rock her day at the Empire State Building. Don't start trouble. I'm asking. I would probably just like, maybe like fill it up a little bit. Mike could get somebody from Alterations to either fill this in or do a little inset here. And I thought that was a great idea. Could we fill this in here or here, the little panel? Let me try and see what I can. Well, you you <laughs> are supposed to be prudent. Yes. I can, I can double date. date. I can double okay. date. It's going to be a family affair with Panina Tournay making an appearance for Emily and Randy officiating her wedding. It's a dream come true. Number two, perfection. Stephanie Bleeker has only one Christmas wish she wants to see come true, which is to see her mom keeping quiet. Mom Phyllis has fallen prey to the quarrel demon and is willing to argue with the bride over her dress choice no matter what. So when is the wedding? It's Black Friday, the kickoff to Christmas. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I want it to be like the snow-covered branches and little details like that to bring in the holiday spirit. Tell me what you're looking for. Something that... Other hand. My mom, she may be opinionated and thinks she's always right. I like that full princess. -y. No, I didn't hear any bells either. I would love to see her in a princess dress. Bye. Dress number one is a classy piece with a medium flair, but it's not ringing any bells for the wedding party. The Christmas cheer might have been muted on dress number one, but it's positively missing on dress number two. But with dress number three, all you hear in the background are crickets chirping. Awkward. Debbie and Randy are preparing for a difficult hunt, but the situation is rescued with Mama caving in and it looks like the bride is going home with a content heart. In another room, Katie has arrived with dreams of a winter wonderland wedding and dress number one is a wish come true. To Randy's surprise though, the bride wants to look through the rest and her wish is his command. With this bride and her entourage crying through every showing followed by rejecting it, the dress hunt has become a roller coaster ride until finally Randy has used his magic and Katie has found the perfect dress for her. Hallelujah. That's really pretty. Wow. It's really pretty. I really, I like, really it. like it. The dress that the bride really loves 
it's kind of like, well, what do you put her in next? Oh, Debbie. You can't get something, and, you know, if our bells aren't ringing the right way. Or... I want everyone to love it. I think I love it. You think you love yeah. it? Yeah. Or you know you No, I, as I was looking at it, I just got happier and happier and happier. How do we feel? <laughs> <laughs> Number one, Sarah Nelms has no idea what her bridal is going to be, and this National Guard has been handed over to manager Robin's tender loving care in her hunt. And thank God for that, since this military woman has no idea what she wants to wear, but mom has every intention of putting her in a dress of her own choice. Louise Nelms, I'm from Lynchburg, Tennessee. I'm 25 years old. Tell me who you brought today. I brought you. Yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not very girly. Almost none of that's allowed. And what about the groom? He understands. My fiance's name is Jay Holt, and she likes the poofy princess style. <laughs> like Cinderella? Yes. I don't know anything about dresses, but, and go from there. But don't let her pick it herself. God. <laughs> Worst <laughs> idea we've heard all day. <laughs> As expected, both mom and Sarah are having their first clash over mama's first choice. Dress number two might be the bride's pick, but it's still not one the surprisingly picky bride over. It's a national emergency as the constant flops have divided this entire team, and this time it's a contest as to who gets the bride a dress suited to her. I hate this dress. I don't want the poof. This is not me. This is girl. She's going to get her way. The crowd I've got with me today, I, I appreciate their opinions, but I still want to pick out my own dress. I don't want it to be something that I let somebody else say, this is what you're wearing. need a plan. Oh, you just God. let me pick the dress. <laughs> well, That's where we go. What Sarah likes. OK, we have to have a game plan. Monty, what do you think about this? Every time we bring out lace, they sh OK. Yeah, I, I love this dress. It's complete opposite what we've It seems it wasn't needed as Sarah's eagle eye has landed on the perfect dress for her. That's all we have for you folks. Join us next time.